It's very controversial, okay? And that's why I don't usually get into religion on this channel because at this point, what I teach is intentional living. And so it doesn't matter what religion you are, we all can learn something from the things that I teach. Basically, staying high vibrational, staying in a good place, um, learning, knowing how to pray, knowing how to live your life, knowing how to love, live. Okay, these are the things that I feel is important more so than anything else, and I feel like everybody's on their own journey. And so, if your journey is, you know, is religion, then that's definitely okay with me. Again, I'm just still here to show you how we can maximize our lives, maximize the growth and evolution of our lives, okay, and make, and maximize on the blissfulness of our lives. And so that's why I make my videos, okay? Again, not catered towards any particular religion, okay? So I don't want to offend anyone. I'm not here to offend anyone. And so with that being said, again, if I have offended anyone, I apologize, but again, this, I'm speaking my truth. Um, again, my truth shouldn't compromise and or offend anyone, because again, it's my truth. But like I said, if there are books missing out of the Bible and things that they're missing, meaning they're proof reading what they, what they share or what they want you to know, then I have a problem with that because that's a form of control. And if you want to control the narrative, it leads me to start thinking, why do you stand again? If I don't, now everyone's saying that if you're not religious, you must be evil. If you don't believe in anything, you must be evil. I think that's so unfair to take that and actually believe that and walk with that because again, Matt, you, you do that with your, you do that with your So that basically what I'm saying is just live your life to the fullest. Let's not judge. Let's not call anyone out of character because based on their beliefs and or their what they how they live. I think I'm the most lovingest person I could I could meet, okay? And so I can't say the same for the Christians that I've met. Most of the Christians that I've met have been hypocritical, judgmental. You can't go to their church if you're a lesbian, if you're uh, not living the life that they say is perfect. I don't believe in heaven and hell. I don't believe that any God or any father, or creator, if my child was to do anything, I would never condemn him to, to hell no matter what it is. And so those are the parts of the Bible are the parts of the religion that I couldn't take. Unconditional love to me means no matter what, unconditionally I love you. Meaning I'm not here to judge you and or chastise you if you make a mistake. And that's what religions religious teaches. You go to heaven and hell if you don't do what it's being told. 